Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about distance, rate, time, word problems. And if I was given this problem, a cargo plane flew to the maintenance facility and back. It took one hour less time to get there than it did to get back. The average speed of the trip there was 220 miles per hour. The average speed on the way back was 200 miles per hour. How many hours did the trip there take? Okay, so we have two directions. We have there and back. There and back again. There you get that reference. Maybe you don't. <laughs> we have there and we have back. Okay, now one thing we know is distance equals rate times time. But the same distance is traveled to go there as well as coming back, okay? To that cargo facility, or cargo plane to the facility, right? Maintenance facility. So that distance, we show the rate times time there should equal the same rate times time on the way back, okay? This helps us here. So since they're both equal, we don't really need to know what that distance is. So we can set them equal to each other. Now we have rate times time. Well, the rate there, or back, was 200 miles per hour. And we don't know necessarily the time it took to get back. But they do tell us on the way there, we traveled 220 miles per hour. And the time, though, and here's the, here's the tricky part. The time, they said, it took one hour less time to get there than it did back. So if back is written as variable t, the time to get there, that time would be t minus 1. And this overall will be the time it took to get there, and then back to being t hours. But now we have an equation with one variable, we can solve for that variable t. Okay? So distribute here, 220 times t is 220t, minus 220 times 1 is 220. And then we just have 200 t here. All right. I subtract a 200 t to both sides. Make sure you go with your like term. And in the same statement here, I'm going to add 220 to both sides. 220. There we go. These cancel. And 220 t minus 200 t is a 20 t. And that's equal to what's left here. These cancel again is 220. Divide 20 to both sides, and I'm left with t equals 11 hours. But remember, they said t represents a time back in our equation here. So time back is 11 hours. We know we have one less hour to get there, so we have 11 minus 1, which is, note here, right, 11 minus 1 is 10. So 10 hours is actually the time it took to get there. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.